啦啦。Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Prison Architect. I'm Blala, and today in La Corp Jail,、um, we are going to change a couple of ideas that we had、um, that we were doing. So let's have a look here. We have all of our ladies now in here,、um, which is fantastic. These beautiful new cell blocks. Now. The aim for this area was always going to be、um, 250 prisoners, with 250 max on this side, right? Now, because we ended up making a bunch of these two-person dormitories instead of cells, we've managed to get there,、um, get to the capacity, and smash through it、um, because we changed the plans. As such. We've got this one. We're not really using. It's it's an overflow of max security、um, because、uh, we had to take on a bunch of prisoners, right? Indeed, we did. Now we also have an issue where we don't ha really have enough room here, and I don't want to be buying this bit of land yet. It's really expensive. So、um, what I'm thinking about doing, seeing that we actually don't need this at all now. Um, is we're going to build this one. Now this was going to be our luxury cells, indeed.、Um, so they'll all have their own showers. They'll probably have their own TVs and all sorts going on in here. These are going to be the real luxury cells. So what we'll do is we're going to build this, and then we're going to move the few max、uh, people that we have over into it, and then we're just going to smash this up. We're going to get rid of it. And then we can build our beautiful wall all the way around. And what we will do is this area will expand out here, and it'll pro it'll probably do the same over here as well. So we'll gain loads of extra space. So all this won't be as cramped because we need more.、Uh, we need another psychiatrist really for them to get to because he always does these AAA meetings over here, which means he's never available to do the other、um, behavioural therapy within the office. So we need more. Um, psychiatrists here.、Um, we could probably do with more parole officers. I mean, look how many are up for parole. Twenty-three. So I'm thinking another two parole officers would be good. And then we still haven't done classrooms or the hospital. So I think this is going to be a really good amendment to the plan. Smash this up and extend this area out this way, and build this in. So and get the wall in. <laughs> Most importantly, getting the wall in. So without further ado, I'm going to build this up.、Um, To give you an idea, average dormitories and probably average single rooms as、uh, as well、um, will look like this. They'll have an external window. They'll have chair, bookshelf, and a radio. Okay, so this is the sort of a standard room, as it were, that、uh, we will eventually have to repeat all over the place. Now, what's really odd, it, because the idea is that you have room quality. But I don't think room quality is really working properly for dormitories. The room size it's listing is wrong, and it's also saying yes, there's an outdoor window, but it's not registering the radio, the bookshelf, all the chairs. So there is something wrong with the room grading. And if we look over here as well, look, it's acknowledging that the room is quite large. So not, not I'm not sure if this is a bug with dormitories or. If I'm doing something wrong, but please leave a comment below if there is something daft that I'm missing here. But I, I feel like that should be working. It should be registering. I've done room quality in other prisons before without any problems, but they have always been cells. This is the first time I've ever mucked around with dormitories, and we know that laundry in dormitories don't mix that well. So maybe neither does、um, room grading. What the hell has happened here? Oh look. But look, what's happened to this lady? We better get. Oh my God, we've got so many more in here now. And do you know what I haven't done since we shipped in those hundred ladies? I have not checked for snitches and stuff, and I bet that's what's going on, eh? I bet that's what's happening. Oh, they're moving her.、Um, shall we check for snitches and things? We probably should. Let's have a. Let's have a look. See an intelligence. And informants. Let's see. Let's call all of our lovely ladies into the office. And、um, because I bet there's snitches and things. 
that we don't know about. Look, she's deadly. Oh, my God. Look. Oh, my God. Here we go. Look, there's an ex-law enforcement. We knew this one, apparently. I can't get it. Here we go. So, she needs to go into permanent solitary. Oh, that looks like another one. Permanent solitary. <laughs> well, they're going to kill you otherwise. It's for your own safety. Oh, my God. Unconscious. <laughs> Shall we um, move a doctor into the canteen? I think we should. He's not, not, not in this screen. <laughs> Don't think it's happening. Oh, look. I can't. Oh, it seems to have glitched. Here we go. Look. She needs to go into permanent lockdown. What's happening here? Oh, she's a confidential informant. Right. She's already in. We're learning. We're learning. <laughs> Are there any more? We've got 94% coverage at the moment. So I would say we know most of them. If not all of them. Look at this. Skilled fighter. There was one that was deadly. Oh, deadly. <gasps> It's a concern, isn't it? It's a concern. Deadly and an instigator. Great. <laughs> what a dream combination. <laughs> anyway, so there we go. I think we've managed to do that, haven't we? Um, let's... We don't need any of you anymore. Um, oh, now. You've come. Search her. <laughs> Search her. Thank you. Right, okay, let's get back to work. So here it is. We're going to build this up. Black assault. And ah, oh, look, this one can have a double door. Look at that. Boom! Lovely. So we'll let them build that. That'll be exciting. Boom! Ah, oh, so lovely. What is she? Oh, she's off to pick up some contraband, right? They're picking up contraband. They are so naughty. They are just so naughty. Can we search that, that lady there? I think so. <laughs> I reckon she's off to pick up something bad as well. I think we should search her. Right. Okay, so. Ta-da! Now, we need to design one of these rooms. Again, it's one of those things, isn't it, where... We have to build one of the rooms and then we can copy and paste them about the place. Now, let's see. Objects for our glamorous rooms. So we know that we're going to want external windows like this for sure. Now, these are also cells. They get these rooms all to themselves like this um, hmm. it's a question of where do we put the bed don't know they're going to have their own showers as well aren't they hmm. so their own showers I want them to also have their own televisions lap of luxury let's see um, where's the bed's gone should we put the shower at the end of the bed seems a bit weird when we could have maybe the television uh, okay the television won't go that way it won't go that way damn it damn it <laughs> okay so what if we have the bed like this and then we could have the bookshelf which is um, where is the bookshelf books where's my books that's uh, a book okay here we go uh, oh now, they won't get the radio because they're getting a television. I mean, that's so much better, right? That's so much better. There we go. Television. Um, I like the idea of giving them an office desk so they've got, like, a computer in their room. How amazing would that be? I don't want to give them the telephone. I did think about it, but the reason I've decided not to is because uh, I'd have to tap them. We could do that though, couldn't we? We can tap them. I'm going to have so many security rooms. We could tap them. The thing is though, is I don't actually think it's on the uh, 
the room quality list, telephones aren't on there. But I'm not sure that I care. <laughs> I'm not sure that I care. Um, because we could even give them weight benches if we wanted to, right? I don't know. Chair counts, so we should probably give them a chair. For sure. Um, we shall give them their own phone booth. Um... And should we give them their own weight bench? Why the hell not? Their own weight bench. They also need their own light. Let's not forget that. They need a light. And I know it's a nice place, but they still need a jail cell door, right? I think so. I mean, wow, luxury or what? Look, we're, we can lock our max security guys down with this sort of... <laughs> They could go to permanent lockdown um, into these areas, no problem. Right, so I'm going to duplicate that over here. Um, and uh, let them build it. Now, another big thing that we want to be doing today are the walls. We're going to start doing the work on the walls. Now, these towers should be... Concrete. This is going to be... It's going to be a problem, isn't it? Um, and because this is effectively going to be an internal wall separating this and this, we can't use this perimeter wall because I do have power lines and stuff running through here. So on this particular occasion, it won't work. However, we can still put that wall in. We can also put this wall in. Like a saw. Um, this security room will have to be changed at some point. There's also supposed to be doors leading up here. Now we're interested in getting this tower in, like this, this tower, this tower, this is still got work to be done, <laughs> still got work to be done around there. Um, and we won't bother with this yet because there's going to be a change there. There is going to be a change. Now, perimeter wall. Oh my god, this is so expensive. I don't know. Oh my god, look. 20 grand for that strip there. There it goes. So expensive, isn't it? But, desperately needed. 31 grand. Oh my god. Absolutely terrifying. There goes all the money for these rooms. <laughs> we won't do this one just yet. We won't do that one just yet. Wow, wow, we were. That was expensive. So each one of these rooms is 1,400 doubloons. That's quite a lot. Quite a lot. Now, how many max security do we have? Eight. Eight of the buggers. So if I build along this line, um, we'll have enough rooms for them to get them out of here and then we can smash this up and start redesigning what's going to happen there so i think we'll do that um just make sure yeah it's definitely that room cloned so we're going to build these rooms like so oh we need to do these as well um because they're going to need utilities. Indeed they are. Indeed they are. They're going to need utilities. Um, so we'll get started with that. Got ourselves into a right old pickle in this area. So this one needs to go in here. Uh, and we want... We want that replaced let's see if just doing that will work so having a bit of a change around here yes and then once that wall's up we can remove this so we can see here we have a room here this will be a security room staff room what's whatever is really required and you can see look it's gone in or it's going in this beautiful perimeter wall here they are And then they'll build this tower. And then we've got perimeter all the way along the back here. Oh, it's going to be so sexy. Oh, look. They've started to build a section here. Lovely. Lovely. So, while these will be internal buildings, these towers, um, these walkways are going to be open air. 
Um, but that doesn't matter. We'll probably give them some sort of concrete floor. Um, something for them to move fast along. Um, but yeah. Uh, going well, I think. Building the external wall. Going well. And eventually what we'll do is uh, we're going to keep this fence. But we'll have sand uh, to bridge the gap and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So I've hired up to 50 dog handlers now. We've got 90 guards. But um, I'm thinking it's time for a lot more janitors. <laughs> because this is disgusting. Um, we're probably going to up these to 20 for now. And we'll see how that goes. But really, I'm thinking I could probably do with more janitors and more gardeners. In fact, let's do it. Let's do another 10 of them. And another 10 of these guys. Good money well spent, I reckon. I reckons the mayor has shipped loads of new prisoners against our will <laughs> to our facility. So we're going to have yet another look at all these fans. Oh my god, they're going to be all mixed, no doubt. Oh, we're going to be over capacity. Yeah, look, so we're now got 122 minimum security with a safe capacity for 100. Our normal security seems to be okay, unless it's not registered yet. So maybe it might be all minimum security lasses. Wow, we're going to be well overcrowded. That is for sure. That is for sure. Could have done without that, but there we go. It's one of those things and uh, just have to deal with it. What we could do is actually up all their security to normal because we have capacity for normal look we have 137 in but we have a capacity for 150 so i think what we might do is make all these ladies normal security and then they can be put into the jail properly so the building is coming along very well here what we're going to do we're going to go to rooms cells and we're going to mark all these as cells Okay, there we go. Um, this When this pipe goes in, these toilets will be fine. So, now. Um, let's see here. All these need to be... I don't know why it breaks up like this. That's really weird. Anyway, there we go. So this is now our max maximum security. It's a temporary thing. I mean, the building's permanent. But eventually, this will be um, a mixed cell block of luxury rooms for minimum and medium but for now we need to get rid of these guys out of this building because we want to smash this up yes we do so but we want to be careful about how we're going to smash this up first of all we shall remove the the assigned rooms so that nobody comes back here and I don't want them to demolish and destroy all this stuff um, I'm going to want them I don't want to bulldoze any of this. Um, so I'm going to carefully remove these items and then we can bulldoze the entire building. Yeah. So there it is. We have now carefully selected to dismantle all these utilities so we get to keep all the items so we're not wasting money by just binning it all. And we've done the same with the objects. I've asked for all the objects to be dismantled, not destroyed and dumped. So we're going to let them do that now on this building um, and get it all completely empty indeed. So we are finally bulldozing the building. We've managed to salvage. We've got rid of all the utilities, as you can see. And we've dismantled all the objects. Um, I've built a big storage yard um, just over here. Um, for all this stuff that's coming out of here. And now we're dismantling this building. What a mess. But needs to be done. Needs to be done. Wow. Wow. What a mess. <laughs> They've left a real mess here. So what I'm going to do is using the plans, I'm now going to plan in the wall that will be happening here so that we can expand this area over here. So this will end up looking a bit like a T-shape. Um, and it'll just be great to give us all the extra space that we want. But we also want it to look nice and we're very keen to get this wall finished up to here and, and everything. So it, the wall's going in, but it's just it's taking time because I'm making them do so, so much. Let's plan this. So here it is. The slightly readjusted plan. This will end up being an entranceway into the stuff we're going to have back here. Um, they won't be using this area 
quite like these two sides will so it doesn't have quite the the checkpoint that that these two do the idea is that they will just be escorted through here to this area at the back here because this will be maximum um no super max who will pretty much be on almost permanent lockdown um and also protective custody and rehab again they're not going to be coming into this area at all they're going to have their own sector um but you can see we've extended the area around here um we don't need uh this tower anymore we'll extend it like that um and then yeah as you can see it will come up around here now i could push this back to do this um do i want to do that though um, it would probably look a little bit nicer, although we do have that sort of thing going on over here, don't we? So going with a no. Otherwise, this wall will just be too far back from these buildings for my liking. Um, and we can, when, when we've unlocked this area, we can put stuff here. It's fine. It's utterly fine. We're going to leave it like that. So let's carry on with the wall. We want that all built and beautiful. Now again with this wall there's going to be more prison back here so this isn't going to be an absolute extor external wall like this perimeter wall here so i'm not going to be putting in the really expensive wall we are just going to be sticking with concrete walls down here um because as mentioned we are going to have more prison back here because I'm not ready to yet build this wall around this sector, being that there's going to be expansions and changes and buildings going into it, it's too complicated for the minute. Um, we're just concentrating on this main wall around here. So I'm doing some fence work in here. And we're going to clean up these fences. It's all getting a bit, bit messy back here. So we're going to just do a bit of cleaning up work. Um, just so that they can't go running in and out of this area because we still want them to come through this choke point. Vital. It is absolutely vital. Um, but we also want to make sure that this wall that we are in the process of building is servicing, is serving its purpose. Um, otherwise it's just daft. Just daft. Oh. Oh. The dogs are chasing them! Oh my god, look at that! Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. So many dogs were on them. Look how far they got! Wow! <gasps> oh my god. They got so far, so fast! Well, <laughs> time to get this sorted, I guess. Let's remove these tunnels. A bit expensive. So naughty. Oh my god! Look, it exploded. A power surge has caused our generator to overload and catch fire. <gasps> well, the fire went out really quickly. <laughs> Thanks to the sprinkler system. But look at the damage. Can we prioritize? Oh, let's slow down time. Can we prioritize the repair of this? <gasps> Oh, no. oh, look at all these tunnels. Ah, they're lies. It's all a lie. It's all a lie. Look. Might have to go for a bang up. Because uh, there is... Oh. Actually, no, we won't do that. Because look. They're all getting ready for food. And a lot of the food is out there. How's, how are all the... These capacitors all seem to be okay. That's wonderful. Okay, so put these walls back in. They seem to be seems to be all right, doesn't it? Put those walls back in. He's repairing it. That's great. Are the um is the water system okay? Yes, we didn't damage any pipes. I think I think we got away pretty light with that one. This is the first test of our sprinkler system around the generator, and boy, am I happy with the results. He's on it. Power's back on. Phew. They can carry on <laughs> feeding them all. Wow. It'll take a little time for water to kick in and stuff. But huzzah. We'll prioritize all of that as well. Get all that built. Wow. 
Yes, I think we did get away lightly with that one. Well done, well done. Gah, good system, good system. So the wall is going in nicely. The sand is starting to go down around here. Of course, we're not bothering with sand here because eventually there's going to be more prison back here. Now, um, there's some... In these walls here, I am laying down paving stones. So that's queuing, ready to go down. But paving stone has gone into these walkways here and such. So not too bad. Now, I'm interested in glorifying these grounds a little bit but first of all we could secure it up just a little bit more if we look at this we can see that prisoners at the moment can get all the way around the back of these buildings and frankly I can't see why they would need to so what we're going to do is look at getting a few gates placed and blocking off some key areas so that we can make it all this area back here where there's access to these there's also um not just these, but there's also access to these valves here um, and then access to this. We're just going to block it all off because it's, it's really not n that needed. So the first thing we're going to do, we'll start here and I'm going to put a fence across here and a fence across there like that. And what we will do is we're going to stick a jail door just there. So we've got a bit of an entrance thing going on. Now, we have to logically go around seeing where they can squeeze through. So they can squeeze through there and they can squeeze through there. And we don't want that. Now, they can squeeze through here. Now, what we're going to do for quick access again is we're just going to shove a jail door there. Yeah. Indeed we are. Um, and then, look, they can squeeze back here. So I'm thinking we could probably block it off from there block it off from there then what's going on down here we can block it off from across here and again this might be a nice place to shove another jail door okay um let's see here we've already got a fence going across this area so that's probably fine might be nice if we move it so we might stick one there um let's see um, now we are going to have a wall and everything coming down here so this area is going to be changing a lot so we'll leave it as it is for the minute because we do have this blockage here um, this is all sort of taken care of as it is at the moment but if we go back to where we started so I think we might put a door here for quick access the staff and then we'll go back to fence there and then we've already got fence here for the time being so now if we let them build those in we should be able to block a lot of this back area to staff only as well um, so keen to do that for sure um, now we also want to start making things look lovely don't we we do we want stuff to start looking nice and I have to decide how I want it to look nice do I want to line the paths or am I happy to just put in grass look ah oh, grass grass now we do have some staff doors here is it worth us putting a bit of gravel to those we probably could do see what that looks like and plonk a bunch of trees down for beautification um oh yeah look we've got that path going up there should we put some gravel up there i'm not sure what that'll look like this will probably look really rubbish <laughs> but if it does then we can always change it can't we let's put in a couple of trees like this bunch of trees um look we can fit a tree in there fit a tree in there and here lots of trees we want it to look nice right we want it to look nice We'll see what that looks like and uh, we're going to look at putting down um, lots of lights as well to, to light pathways and, and whatnot. So I shall carry on along this vein and then we should take a look at it once, they, once they're all done. So here it is. We can now block all that area off. So it's just constantly reducing the area that they can walk around in. Um, like all this is supposed to be staff as well um, it seems to have because we've been messing around with the wall seems to reset itself there we go so it's reducing all the time what they can and can't get to look at this and 
Ooh. <laughs> um, still fiddling with it. Still fiddling with it. Um, trying to get it to look right. I've employed um, up to 50 gardeners and 50 janitors now. And look, I have 25 workmen. Um, and so the areas at the back, this is largely gravel because, again, it, it slows them down should anyone be back here that shouldn't. However, there are fast paths for staff to get to certain access points and stuff like that. Like, there should be a door, that's it, yeah. Um, but um, I'm, fiddling, I'm playing around with paths at the moment. So I did some gravel paths, but they are slow and uh, they don't look the best. So I'm looking at for these sort of staff areas maybe doing can you see um what are these crazy paving <laughs> just says stone but i'm thinking that doesn't look too bad um it does get a little bit lost in the grass but uh, i think that's quite nice as it comes out of it's better than the gravel i think when it's in the nice grassy area so i think we might change all those over we'll we'll look at lighting another time outside um you know, when it's when it's night time, we'll have a look at what's lit well, what isn't lit well. Um, but for now, I think this is probably it for this episode. We've done so much today. Look at them all piling up there. We've done so much today. And uh, next time, I'm interested in uh, looking at this infrastructure. I want to get the the um the tasers going and i want to start setting up all the cctv cameras i want to start tapping phones because we have these these buildings in place now so we're going to start looking at all the automatic doors as well and stuff like that oh it's exciting so um i will see you next time Bye.